YNW Melly's lawyers have created Melly's escape route for his upcoming retrial, where it would be announced. YNW Melly's lead attorney, Jamie Benjamin, filed a second motion to dismiss for government and prosecutor misconduct in violation of the defendant's due process rights with the Brower clerks on Wednesday, as Melly's ex-lawyer would go on to explain that this was a plan to have all of the new jury members excused from the case in order to have the retrial delayed for a few months. Let, let me ask you about what the judge did here. Were you surprised that the judge just, you know, got rid of the whole jury panel, basically sided with the defense? Why do you think he did that? I, I think that the judge doesn't want this to come back and appeal. So he's going over and above of what you normally see because he knows if, if, if this is a not guilty, the state can't appeal it, right? If, if there's no appeal from the state, it would only be if this is a guilty, it would be an appeal from the defense. So a lot of judges go over and above for a defendant to make sure that they eliminate all appellate possible appellate issues. As now with the jury excused, YNW Melly's team has time to work and have the case dismissed for his rights being violated per the 14th Amendment. Have added Christine Bradley, the prosecutor herself, to the witness list and five other attorneys from the state attorney's office who they say knew about this situation. That's seven attorneys from the state attorney's office. Because of this, Melly's attorneys are saying keeping Christine Bradley and this state attorney's office on this case this is not only a conflict of interest, it's actually a violation of Melly's right to due process, which is a part of the 14th Amendment. As shortly after YNW Melly's lawyer's plans were exposed, the new lead prosecutor against Melly would submit new paperwork trying to use Melly's lyrics against him in the upcoming retrial. Similar to how the prosecutors were granted permission to use lyrics in the Young Thug YSL recall trial, we now may be seeing it in Melly's upcoming retrial, as the prosecutors want to use lyrics in 30 songs from YNW Melly. Songs such as M On My Mind, Mind of Melvin, Virtual, and even Medium Fries. As the prosecutor claims that YNW Melly's lyrics relate to the crime that he allegedly committed towards Sack Chaser and Juvie, as well as dropping hints in the music video that he is a part of a street team. However, the most concerning evidence is later in the report, which goes and reads, Robert Allen's statement to Detective Danny Polo and Detective Garrett audio recording. Now you'll remember Robert Allen from the XXX Tentacion trial, where he is the one that snitched on his three best friends revealing why they did what they did to X. As research would make it turn out that Robert Allen, before snitching in the XXX Tentacion trial, was actually sitting in YNW Melly's cell block for roughly a year and a half. And now he's making a random statement to Danny Polo in court, as in court words, that is basically snitching on YNW Melly. It only took 30 minutes for YNW Melly's lawyers to then strike all of the new evidence they want to use. It goes and reads, the defendant, Jamel Demons, by and through undersigned counsel, files this motion to strike the state of Florida's discovery filed December 13th. However, it might be too late. Things are already getting so serious that rap OG Boosie would explain during an interview this week that when the feds want you, they will do anything to get you. Now they're putting even more charges on him and then, um, when they want you, they want you. I knew that. I knew they wanted them bad when they waited for that law to get passed. They waited oh, so all the way. The penalty. So it'd be 8 4. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, they waited all the way to that law got passed to take him to trial. Yeah. He was in jail for what, two years, three years? Yeah. They could have been took you to trial. You're right. They waited till that law got passed and took him to trial a couple months later. When they want you, they want you, man. Uh, I just don't see how he didn't get a bun after a fing mistrial. Yeah. That made me like, God damn. Yeah. Like, after a mistrial, that doesn't, that, that doesn't happen, really. As Boosie has also went on to mention and explain how badly this retrial is truly affecting YNW Melly, as well as his family. Okay. So then sure? I met his mama while he was in. Oh, okay. I met his mom while he was in, and uh, she was, she was, she real, bro. You know, she real. She stressed out. I heard she had a... Yeah, she real, and I and I, you know, I, I reached my hand out to him, uh, cause I'm real. Yeah, I, I reached out to him, bro. I met his mom, and she a good, she a good woman, bro. And when I see them mamas like that, I, I it remind me of what my mom was going through, bro.
With Boosie breaking down that the feds, when they want you, they'll do anything to get you, it ends up explaining what we've all been wondering. As YNW Melly had one chance at receiving a bond just one month ago, and then suddenly the entire bond hearing was just canceled, and we never heard anything about it since. Jury selection for Melly's retrial will not begin on Monday, October 9th, like originally scheduled. Instead, next week, the judge said they will argue the state's motion to quash defense subpoenas of several prosecutors, including the elected state attorney. As when you add all of the new paperwork of charges against YNW Melly submitted this week, along with YNW Portland's actions, this is a terrible look for YNW Melly. It all begins when it was officially announced that YNW Portland was arrested for witness tampering charges. As while his house was being raided by the feds, they ended up finding insane paperwork on the inside against Melly and Portland. Melly's co-defendant YNW Portland was booked into a Miami jail Monday night and is being held behind bars on an out-of-county warrant. We just confirmed the warrant is out of Broward County for witness tampering. The warrant obtained by Long Crime Network states as follows. On or about April 10, 2023, continuing through and including July 22, 2023, Cortland Henry, aka Bortland, along with others, did unlawfully and knowingly engage in misleading conduct toward another person with the intent to cause or induce them to withhold testimony. The warrant continues the alleged witness had been summoned by the legal process to the jury trial of Jamel Dimmons, aka YNW Melly. The dates in the warrant are important. Jury selection for Melly started in mid-April, and a judge declared a mistrial on July 22nd, the same day the warrant claims Bortland allegedly tampered with the witness. As it was announced by Bryson Paul, here are the images of alleged notes discovered during the home raid of YNW Bortland's home last week, as filed into the Brower clerks by the state. Alongside these photos here, of YNW Bortland detailing and drawing where certain jurors were sitting with a description of what they looked like. To understand how serious this is here's dj academics's reaction to keep it real this is sloppy portland how the f you gonna have the notebook of the jurors in your house like god damn holy sh you know what i mean like brother like come to f on it, 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 it's like it's like doing them and and having the, the surveillance tape in your dvd player or something like that you know what i mean like come on bro like like they raid your crib and and the and the and the, the surveillance footage of the is in your dvd play they be like oh okay thank you brother this can't be at your crib as alongside that new evidence YNW juvie's family would then want to keep the heat on melly's lawyers with them trying to have a case dismissal due to melly's rights being violated as well as all of the new evidence now going on top of melly if this case doesn't get dismissed melly's in serious trouble due to the lawsuit that the family of juvie just submitted where their lawyer was able to find new evidence against YNW melly where the report goes and reads this is the video we requested from prosecutors in the state of Florida versus Jamel Demons. We have the honor of representing the family of Christopher Thomas, aka YNW Juvie. Melly's defense attorneys filed a motion for protective order to prevent me from obtaining it. This video was on Melly's cell phone and it was recorded a month after he allegedly got his two friends, Christopher Thomas and Anthony Williams. It doesn't show a man in mourning or even seeking answers, and if anything, takes credit for it through false expression. No regrets for the I did that also mean for the next Yeah. Oh, there I am. Never say when. As they're using a list of evidence against YNW Melly, which honestly makes him look guilty, such as the text messages found on his cell phone where he literally admits to doing the crime. Their PC Gambino account asked him if he was okay, and his response was, I did that and placed a smiley face emoji. And the next message from 10 26 2018 at 1602 the ynw mailing count says what after that s h h h h then the next evidence being from Sergeant Williams, who would reveal after investigating the Jeep that they were driving in, there is no way this could have been a drive-by, and the crime must have happened from someone sitting in the back left seat. Assignment, which is to determine if this is a drive -by. And my determination was that this is not a drive-by and it's based upon this picture here which is a very good picture to describe it all of these rounds are done 
um, one is done at an um, at a stationary position. Is at a stationary position when all when all but one of these rounds are going in. The one round that that uh, has some movement in it, which is round uh, site L here, the, uh, the is actually moving in that to create the uh, the little bit of a that you see there. Okay. Number you said 17 outside the car. How many rounds were inside the car? Three. And can you exclude the for Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas is coming from outside of the car? Yes. From the pass the driver's side back seat. As to the shot they Christopher Thomas. Where did that driver's side back seat. Oh. Is it possible for there to have been two inside that car? No. Why not? There is no time. With Sergeant Williams revealing the crime must have happened from somebody in the back left seat, this is then when the state would call YNW Juvie's mother to the stand, where she would say who was sitting in that back left seat after watching surveillance footage from the recording studio. Uh, can you state your name? You're holding your name for the jury? I'm Leon Phillips. Okay. And um, are you related to one of the kids in this case? Yes, I am. How so? I'm his mother. And who is that? Christopher Thomas. Um, Ms. Phillips, did you see who entered into the occupants who entered into that gray, gray Jeep? Mm hmm And is that a yes? Yes. Do you recognize where your son entered that gray Jeep? Yes. Which seat, if you can identify for the jury? Um, he got in the back seat on the um, right hand side. Did you recognize the individual that got into the back seat on the left side, the rear driver side? Yes. And who was that individual? Jamel. And Jamel, is that the defendant? Jamel Demons? Yes, ma'am.